Alright, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing the UI in Star Wars The Old Republic, and I'm just going to do a quick overview of it and show you the features of it. So at the top left here we have our chat tab, and you're able to browse things like general chat, trade chat, stuff like that. And um, you can also do various emotions um, right here, so grin and you know just stuff like that. Moving on, we have our character sheet up here and you can see your name, level, all these different stats, dark side, light side points, and you know all that good stuff. Uh, you can also see your companion characters from here I believe. And next you have your inventory and various slots, currency, things like that. The third one is your abilities panel and this is all your spells, uh, for vehicles, general, and class. After that you have your mission log which gives you your missions and uh, you can choose to track or untrack it. Uh, you, also, you also have a party tab here. You have your codex, which I don't have anything filled out. And you have lockouts for, you know, things like the Eternity Vault. So, uh, <clears throat> next tab, I haven't unlocked that one yet, uh, as I've just gotten into the game, so I'm not sure, entirely sure what that one is. Uh, but after that, it's the social window, and you can add friends, who, ignore, guild, things like that. Uh, after that is the guild menu, and I'm not in a guild right now. Um, but moving on, there's another thing which looks like a diamond, and I haven't unlocked that one yet, because like I said, I just started the game. Uh, but after that, there's game menu, and you can go to your preferences from here, and you can do key bindings, uh, change the graphics, chat, sound, all that good stuff. Next is customer service help, uh, just contact the GM. Uh, issue report and just this is for just reporting bugs and different things like that and okay let me close this and then over here we have toggle mission tracker on or off and that basically tracks your quest throughout the game over here you get little tips and stuff like that that's just because I started the game and uh, you can toggle on or off the tutorial window Moving down here, you can see my character's uh, portrait, along with the health and force bars. Uh, you can also see the abilities, and you can toggle the extended bar or lock it in place. And of course, you can page up or down the bars. Uh, this place right here, um, which is, I don't know if you can see my mouse, but kind of by the quick slot page up option is where uh, I think that's where you see enemies that you have targeted kinda where the satellite is and I believe that can also be used to track enemies um, <clears throat> and moving on from over there we have our little mini map here and it shows your location and there's also an XY uh, axis which is cool uh, so you can see you know where people are, are in the world or you can tell your friends to meet you at this specific point you can also open up the world map and there is a lot of different stuff you can look at here uh... it gives you a very very detailed map players companions all this good uh... legend and all sorts of great stuff uh... i forgot to show you that you can also change your world here too for example like Corbon 3 and uh... this is actually i believe this is changing instances I haven't seen this feature yet uh... but we're not going to do that right now just gonna X out of this. You can zoom in and out of the mini map. So I'm gonna zoom out all the way just as an example. Zoom back in. And this is a place to queue for war zones, I believe, uh, right there. You also have the time and your server lag or latency. And right now I'm doing surprisingly well. Um, so that's the very rough. Um, UI. I also did forget that the XP bar is at the very bottom, but this is a very rough overview of the UI. Um, and, you know, things are always subject to change because this it was taken during the beta, guys, so just letting you know. Um, so things are always subject to change, and I'm sure I missed a couple things, but I just wanted to kind of show you guys the rough UI for the game so uh, you can get a feel for how you're going to be playing it. So, that's it for this video guys, if you liked it, be sure to like it and subscribe. Thank you for watching.
Thank you.